In this overview, we're going to talk about taking advantage of some of the free fonts that are offered on a weekly basis from freecoreldrawtraining.com. Now, once you find the particular font that you wish to download, of course, you'll always see a preview for that font. But go ahead and follow the download link. In this case, I'll go ahead and click here, and we'll be redirected to the uh, author of the font. We'll go ahead and select Download, and once that's done downloading, it's generally going to be in a zipped file, in which case you'll have to unzip the, the document. So I can go ahead and right-mouse click and extract all. I, I advocate for 7-zip. Make sure to Google search for 7-zip. It's a really great tool that will unzip really any, any uh, compressed file, whether it be an ISO or uh, one of the RAR files or some of the other um, uh, ways of compressing files. Now once you have that downloaded what you, uh, and unzipped, what you want to do is navigate to your fonts folder. So if you go to your control panel, uh, find your fonts folder, and this is in Windows, this is the folder that warehouses all of the fonts that you have installed on your computer, and go ahead and drag and drop that font into your font folder. And of course it's going to go ahead and copy over, and once that's done, we'll go back into the Corel environment, and we'll select the text tool, and we'll type out Honey Script, and I'll go ahead and change the size of that, and we'll go ahead and uh, activate our drop down menu in Corel, and I'll just hit H on my keyboard and that will jump down to the fonts that begin with H. So we'll go ahead and uh, click down here until we can find HoneyScript. Go ahead and browse down here. Let's see. So there's HoneyScript. You'll see a little preview of it. Go ahead and click it, and now we have access to HoneyScript. We can zoom in here. Now, the other thing we want to do is uh, talk about manipulating these fonts. So I'm going to hit F4 on my keyboard to go to full screen preview. There's some really basics when editing fonts. Uh, let's talk about a few of those. Uh, we're going to talk about something called kerning, and that's really changing the distance between each of the fonts. So I'm going to go ahead and select my shape tool. Once I select my shape tool, notice we have two different control points here. We have the one where my mouse is circling now, and this one on the left-hand side. So let's talk about that. If I go ahead and click on the uh, control point from the right-hand side and make a change, notice how it changes the distance between each character. Well, in this particular font, it looks like sort of a, a hand handwritten script font, so I'd want to move those closer so they can kind of look like they're connected. So do you see how we can we can modify and manipulate that so they, uh, the font characters are closer to one another? So that looks a lot more natural. Now the, the next character here is going to control the distance between two lines of text. So if I double click this text and um, below the T we'll type HoneyScript and we'll type in free font. So do you see the distance between HoneyScript and then free font? That next uh, control point will uh, control the distance between uh, lines of text. So you see how in tandem we can control the distance between individual characters and we can control the distance between line characters. So that's uh, most commonly referred to as kerning. Now I should also point out using your uh, shape tool you can click on one particular uh, text character. So I'm going to click on the H for example and I can control the H independently. So you see I can reposition that, I can reorient it. Maybe I think the H needs to actually touch the O to create a, uh, you know, some dynamic uh, texture where I want to leave the, the balance of the text separate. Um, so we can actually multiple select. I can select the S, I can hold down my control key and I can select the R, I can select the I, and rather I'm actually holding down my shift key, forgive me. So hold down your shift key and you can select multiple fonts together and you'd have independent control of those particular fonts. In fact, I can give this uh, a, a rotation, so maybe I want to rotate those particular characters to give some dynamic uh, texture. Um, I can put a minus symbol in front of the uh, 15 degrees to make them rotate the other way. So you really have a lot of control over your characters uh, in, in your text. 